What's up, fight fans? Thank you, as always, for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Um, I've just read something that, I can't lie, I find quite alarming. I, I find quite alarming, and I I'm shocked, if I'm honest with you. And that's regarding um, the upcoming fight between Anthony Joshua and Alexander Povetkin. Now, someone like Povetkin that has a history of... Um, steroid abuse and performance enhancing drugs whatever um if i'm if he's even if he's even in the conversation to fight me next he's got to be doing all year round drug testing he just has to be and not just your average all year round drug testing i mean motherfucking strict drug testing right because um again he has a history of cheating and i look, i i'm a firm believer if you cheat if you take steroids once um, you're going to take him again. Like, you, you're just going to him. And I, I go to the gym regularly and I speak to guys that um, take steroids. Um, just normal conversations. I'm not going too deep into their personal life. I just normal conversations with them. And they all admit that they just can't stop taking them. They've tried. Some have tried. And they just don't feel the same when it comes to the gym. Their ego now is obviously through the roof. They can lift whatever they couldn't lift before. They look a lot better than they think they did before. And they just won't go to the gym without taking a steroid. I, I take pre-workout. I mean, I just buy the average pre-workout from um, Holland and Barrett's. Trust me, I can't fucking go to the gym without that pre-workout. And, you know, I don't consider myself an addictive personality type person, but I can't. So, Povetkin is 110% still juicing. There's no way, and look, when we're talking about the gym. I've just compared it to the gym. I've just compared it to, to lifting a couple of dumbbells and barbells and looking a bit vain in the mirror for the ladies. We're talking about guys going in the ring fighting, having to kick the shit out of each other. So there's no way on this earth Povetkin does what he does to the likes of Takam and Char where he puts them to sleep easily. He knows he's got that power. And his next fight is against Anthony Joshua and he's just going to come in there eating chicken and rice. Please. So Eddie Hearn has confirmed that Povetkin's VADA testing starts Friday just gone. So it's already started in the lead up to this fight. I'm sorry, what? That's just... Look, that means as soon as the price fight finished, you just went on a cycle. Just went on a cycle and now he's off it. Pretty easy, isn't it? How easy is it to cheat in boxing? Like, literally... How easy is it to cheat in boxing? But then again, is, is this what Anthony Joshua is doing as well? I mean, is Anthony Joshua on all year round tests? And I actually thought he was. If he's not on all year round tests, and I'm going to ask questions about him as well. And, you know, some people say I'm an Anthony Joshua fanboy, but I've got to start asking questions. How can these boxers, particularly ones that have cheated before and have been caught, how can they not be on all year round testing? And it's clear that Povetkin is not on it. Because Eddie Hearn has mentioned the fact that he started his drug testing with VADA Friday gone. You must be crazy. You must be crazy. Povetkin is still on the juice. Like, there's 110%. And um, he ain't coming off that shit. You think Povetkin's going to come off the juice at 38? 38, he's got a chance to beat um, arguably the biggest name in boxing next. And he's going to say, okay, we'll, we'll do this the natural way. No fucking way. That guy has cycled and he's now come off his cycle and now he's going to do his drug testing with VADA. He's going to sell through that drug testing with clean colours and they're going to say it's a clean fight. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. But what do you guys think? What do you guys make of this? Are you surprised like me that someone that's been cheating for so long and has been caught isn't doing all year round drug testing? Or is it just a case of he's doing what other boxers are doing? Because it looks like 99% of other boxers are doing exactly the same thing. Unless their name's signed up to all year round drug tests and it's clear that they're just cycling on and off. That's the thing with boxing, right? You kind of know when you're going to have a fight. I mean, very rarely do top boxers take short notice fights. Very, very rarely. So you have a fight in September um, and you're a top tier boxer where you know you fight three times a year. You know you're not getting in a ring again until March. So literally, you can start your shit. As soon as that fight's finished in September, you can literally start your shit all the way up to, I don't know, late Jan, early Feb, then stop. <laughs> and then say, Vada, test me, I'm clean. And you'll pass with flying colours. What a fucking joke of a sport I love this is. What a joke.